Welcome to this Let's Talk Missions tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. The intent of this video is to help familiarize users with where in PointWise's interface you can set the various grid refinement options for your source objects. For illustration, I've created a spherical source object that can influence the isotropic interior volume grid of the box-shaped block that surrounds it. The main place in PointWise to supply grid refinement parameters for sources is provided within the Sources panel. The Sources command beneath the grid menu is selection sensitive and will not be activated unless one or more sources is selected beforehand. Selecting my source first, and then Sources from the grid menu, opens the Sources panel. In the Sources panel, at the top, there is a table listing current spacing and decay values for the selected source. If multiple sources are selected, then average values will be displayed. Below the table, in the beginning constant values frame, are entry fields where spacing and decay values can be specified. If the constant radio button option is selected in the type frame below, then only the values entered for the beginning location of the source are used. Similar entry fields exist for the source's end location. These beginning and ending locations for each source are determined by the order in which the ends of the source were originally created. The reverse button allows you to switch beginning and ending values for the currently selected source. Clicking the Start Interactive Edit button allows you to interactively edit the spacing values at either end of the source in the display window. In the type frame, you can choose from a variety of distribution functions to be used by the selected source. In addition to the Sources panel, you can specify spacing and decay values for sources in the Defaults panel by expanding the Sources frame. Any sources you create after making changes will inherit the new values you have specified. You can also customize the default pointwise toolbar configuration to add spacing and decay entry fields for sources. The last place where you can modify settings for sources is within the Attributes tab of the Solve panel for blocks. Select a block and from the grid menu choose Solve. Navigate to the Attributes tab and expand the Sources frame. Here the same set of options to specify spacing, decay, and distribution type exist for each source. You also have the ability to disable all sources or disable sources individually by clicking the corresponding checkbox in the table. If you like this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.